Hello folks and welcome back. We are today diving into sport mode and we're going to do the lap attack challenge. Really haven't touched these for a couple of weeks because A, I haven't been good enough and B, been trying to focus on getting back to working world. So the online lap tile today is at Nürburgring GP. It's been in place for the last 10 days or so, 12, 14 days or so, and we've got three days till the end. I'm currently got a 158.151. That puts us a comfortable silver. Um, with that being the case, gold is a 157.347. And feel like we're a long way from, from a 157. It's uh, This is the hardest one I've found so far to date. So car wise, I've been trying the RSR. I've tried my usual favorite, which is the F1T, the FT1 VGT. But today we're going for something a little different and it's what the guys at the top of the tree have been using. And as it is, um, it's actually working out to be a very nice car now. I've, I've run a few laps and I think I can get faster in this car and I think I can actually do it. And I appreciate this is a black screen while I'm talking, while it's loading up. But genuinely, folks, I'll put I'll put some clips of images of the car and we'll we'll discuss it. But generally, I think this car's fast into a corner. It slides well into a corner. So if you can invoke the slide and get it to grip as it comes through the apex and out the other side, it will turn out to be a great car. And I think if that top time doesn't move much in the last three days, I think I can sneak a gold. And that's being quite confident at this point. So I'm, I'm in the top 17,000. I'm only 0.7% away. Let's just check my settings, see what they are. Assist settings, traction control one, default OBS, everything is off. The ranking boards, let's see where we are. I'm third out my mates. So Alex hasn't really... Alex is usually quite a fast one here. And Expat's top with a 157.619. Even he's not gold. Can we switch over the global ranking and see where these boos are? Yeah, here you go, look. RX Vision GT3 Concept. This is the car to use. And the top time is a 153.930. I'm four and a bit seconds off that. So without further ado, let's give it a whirl, folks. Let's go out there and set this. Let's get this gold. Let's see how many laps it takes. I won't bore you with the full montage of laps. I'll just give you the ones where I improve. with every single lap I do and all the mistakes but what I'll do is I'll, I'll give you a couple of laps where I'm talking my way into it the key thing is as we set out on this challenge is to get a good ghost because we'll use the ghost to improve and in this series of videos this is all what it's about it's about encouraging you guys to find the best method that suits you watching what I do to find how you can get to beat these goals whether that's beat these challenges whether that is through the use of the same settings using my racing lines I know my throttle control isn't the best I'm pretty much a stamper on the brakes and I do like to give the car a hundred percent throttle at most times during any lap and I don't tend to feather the throttle a lot if I do it's purely by accident or or by calculated risk but as we go down this process I will talk you through the laps and give you a level of encouragement to show you how it's done now what I've found with this car is it does slide one hell of a lot and as you can see there not brilliantly So 
so just as I regain my composure I could probably do that then in third gear you know Let's get up here and talk about this breaking point. Just on the 100, I think, we'll do it. Second gear in. We can leap the curb on the entrance. We could also get a bit closer to that red pole on the apex of that exit. Now, this is going to be slow. It's going to be two minutes plus, I think. There we go. Now, let's... Let's beat this ghost. It's got to break just before the curbs on the left hand side. Try and get closer to that apex. Oh, we washed out there, didn't we? on the left hand side there lost out to that ghost massively used second incorrectly there on that corner now my ghost is going to wash out into this corner we're not going to break too late and steer too early we're going to actually get that correctly as we go through there in behind us see what I mean about the slide of the car there it's the car slides one hell of a lot Try not to lose the car away from the apex on that final corner. You've got to keep the end tucked in. 158.972. So I'm slowing the first half of the lap. I can do better on the apex there. I know I can. stolen just too much there use as much of the runoff as we can use third gear to enter this corner there's a couple of places I've already worked out where I can improve on time all the parts of the track you can to improve penalties for it in that post but we weren't as quick through there as we were the last lap and we've blown the last bend oh that's such a frustration but we have beaten that so a 6-3-1 mm, not as good as it should have been 
And hello folks, welcome to the track from the studio. I'm going to speak to you now because for whatever reason I decided to get my head down and just started to concentrate. So we're four laps in for the day. I haven't actually restarted anything but what I've done is I've just set down four laps. I've just put a blistering half lap in and crashed it into the wall. And then I've decided at this point I'm going to go for it and try and pull it out. Well ultimately this turns into a 16 lap stint of continuous lapping and on virtually every lap I get ahead of the ghost just like we are doing now and I blow it because there's a couple of corners I haven't quite got my head round and it's just an interesting thing to watch which I've done whilst I've been setting this video up is just watching my cute little face there as the emotions rattle through me as I start to get ahead of the the ghost and then blow it again but what you do know is every lap we're going to see here i'm going to continuously improve now on that 158 613 i'm still not at the target time that that i i left but we know the 157 3 is the target to hit but i'm not 100 percent sure as i'm doing the video as i'm actually doing the the driving that um I know it's a 157.3 so as then again you saw me just slide through that corner because I didn't get the entrance correctly I'm still ahead of the ghost but because the ghost is set at 0.4 ahead it's starting to pull away so oh you don't know how you do know how if you're trying this and you're not getting the gold you know how tricky it is when you're an average driver like me I'm not a pro as we get into this I've got basic kit I've just got a G29, I've just got a homemade rig, and I'm just doing what I can to be the best I can be. So, here we go, 158.380. So we're actually now pushing ahead, and we're ahead of where we were yesterday. On to lap six, we're going to improve again. And let's see if we can talk away around the lap where I failed to yesterday whilst I was videoing this. So breaking point on the left hand side I'm slowly starting to work it out it's the end of the tarmac before the red and white curbs and there you go a nicely hitting of the apex on the hairpin coming into here the front starts to wash a bit wide and not as tight as the ghost but I've worked out you can run a bit wider there and if you break as you come off the red and white you can normally hit the line for this but you can borrow more on the left again and you can borrow more across that uh, apex of that curb and you can run straighter and gain pace on it so we're well behind the ghost at this point braking on the curbs on the right hand side but don't brake too far to the right because you'll your back end will step out because you'll brake on the mud accelerate early coming out of this corner charging down to the hairpin at the bottom now this is a a really good hairpin to brake late into run wide of the apex turn the wheel slightly and then accelerate early and get up the hill you've got a long way to go up the hill and if you touch the gravel on the left hand side your world's over you can put all four wheels on the curb on the left and on the right which I haven't managed to do on that lap and then I work out here that you've got to break just at the start of those grey pavers on the left hand on the right hand side and you've got to put the whole car on that left hand curb you'll see me do that as the as as the laps progress and there aren't many laps you know there's about a dozen more but I only show you about three more which is great to know in total it was an hour of footage we're starting to get that a little bit quicker just an hour of footage from last night and we're level with the ghost extremely tight here but that could be a 0.3 or so improvement as he starts to pull ahead almost into the 157s a 158.036 sees the end of that little run just one more lap on we set a 158.5 last lap there we go that was a 205 we had an off halfway through there so here we go looking for that breaking point and it's about remembering those key points I've braked a bit late there but we managed to pull it back into the apex but we run a bit wider than the ghost he beats us back on the inside but don't forget it's 0.4 of a second so the closer we get into turn one I know this hysteresis of time but the closer we get to him the actual closer we are on setting a good start to the lap 
See how much quicker we are there. Tighter line. Within 0 0.2, 0 0.3, definitely. 0.286. Second gear this corner. You can get the car to move a little bit in that corner and just start to straighten up quicker with a little bit of a slide. Down to the hairpin. Will we get to miss, just miss the apex here a bit? Yep, double apex the corner. There we go. Touch the inside, run out wide, use all the kerb. Let's see if we can get this one right now. Yes, we start to do it. We start to get it done, but we miss the apex on the second half of that chicane. Breaking on these pavers now. And then start to bring the car into that inner kerb. You've got to really hit these apexes. And I still can't get this corner right. Still sliding in his second gear. Really want to do third gear in that corner. But we're up on the ghost. We're making progress. My little face. Concentrating focus. Watching for the 100. Breaking on the 100. Down a second. Just a dab of the throttle through the apex. Clip that red and white pole. And then as you hit max on third gear. Just tap the brakes. Hug the inside of that corner. And then try and run it wide. The back end came round on me there. Too much throttle. And we didn't quite make it there. A 158.087. So I showed you a lap which we didn't make an improvement on. That's a shame. But it just showed you how we can make gains. And then lose it at the end. So here we go again. The same old routine. Braked a bit late again there. Probably just about okay on the apex. We've still made gains on the on the ghost. And we've got a better line there following him through. On the premise that it's not him. That was you a couple of laps ago. We can get tighter just as the ghost did there. We've pulled in nice and tight. Do not. Don't try and brush the car against the Arnco. Because you will get a one and a half second penalty. I suffered that a few times. But really, it comes down to two or three corners, this. Once you've got them right and you know where you're going, you'll, you'll get a time, guys. You really will. You'll get somewhere close and then you can just concentrate, run a couple more laps, and you'll just improve and improve and improve. We'll let this one go. I'm hoping that we're going to dip down into the 157s. If we can nip into the 157s, we've done a cracking job. But then we've got to get from 157.9 to 157.3. And for me, it felt a mile away. Look how much I missed the apex. But so did he in the ghost. So we can see where I made the mistakes. And that's where you've just got to get better. If we can just nudge in front of this ghost, we'll be doing things correct. We will. We'll be getting it right and we'll be improving. So clip this apex. Now we're in touch of the ghost here. We've just got to stay with him. If we can be at least this distance, we'll knock naught point too often. We'll be in the 157s all night long. And then we've got another three quarters of a second to go. And there we go, 157.3. So we didn't just dip into the 157s we absolutely nuked into the 157s but at this point I don't actually know that I've actually set this record I can't remember whether it was a 157.37 a 157.34 a 157.32 so as we come into this corner I'm just trying to set one more lap if I can get into the 136s we'd be really really happy but it's starting to get harder and harder. I've actually got to what I would call the wall, where you just keep running laps and you can't can't do any better. And look, the ghost is pulling away from us. I'm starting to get disheartened. Look at the frown that I've got. I'm really pushing hard in my head. I'm starting to get tired because it's probably half ten at night. It's a Sunday, so it's been a well. We've done and had a Sunday roast and it's feeling heavy in my belly. And I'm thinking about work for the next day. There we go. We actually get that corner right and we've actually got 
gain some acceleration out the corner there coming up the hill all two wheels on that curb two wheels on that one full car on that curb using the full width of the track and then we're going to try and dip the brakes into that corner oh we just managed to get two tires onto that curb how well do we do here two tires on the curb two tires on the run out so we're going well we're still within touching distance all we need to do is close up to him under braking and we're there just under braking it'll be perfect 100 nice and quickly through this corners and there we go look we're on his back door we nearly lost the back end let's just keep it together let's hope we can break in and just get it around this corner second gear accelerate hard using the curb keep the car straight what do we do a 157.324 well folks we only just we didn't actually do it the next lap we've got that 157.324 that's all we've got watch my little face did 116 miles a potential best of 157.258 so that was what I was just taking in but I'm not sure watch my little face <sighs> that's how good it feels to know that you've just done it super and the voice from the god says well done mate you did all right top of your friends list and at that point folks it's just a massive thank you for everybody that's watching the channel it seems we're growing we're getting a good number of you subscribing you're enjoying the content and with that thank you very much there it is gold you can go and do it folks just apply yourself take that car it's a great little car see what you can do let me know in the comments section how well you've done but thank you very much folks see you on the next one take care